think you benefited from waiting until now to do like athletic tests? Uh, yeah, I think I, I, I benefited very uh, much. Uh, you know, just letting my hamstring heal a little bit more so I'm more comfortable with the drills. Uh, just the testing part of it. So I think I did uh, benefit from waiting. How has this draft process changed so far? Just talking to teams and just learning about that. Yeah, uh, it's treated me very well, actually. Um, interviewing with a lot of teams, getting to know their schemes, getting to meet legendary head coaches. So it's definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity, and uh, I'm definitely not taking it for granted. Uh, any comment feedback from teams about what they like about your game? Just what to expect the result? Yeah, it's pretty much all the same thing. Uh, they love the character, especially, you know, being number 18 as well. Uh, they love my. Uh, the, my playmaking ability, or the way I can rush the passer and make plays in the back there. Uh, it's just been a, a constant thing. It started in the beginning of the training process for the draft, and then it just recently happened again two weeks ago. So um, the doctors recommend that I just stay off it and heal. Uh, but I still want to come compete out here at Pro Day. You know, just one last time with guys. All right. So a lot of, a lot of Saints people. Yeah, it'll definitely be an honor. Uh, you know, it'll be an honor to play for anybody who drafts me. Uh, you know, I feel like they're getting a very complete player. Uh, it'll be nice to stay in Louisiana, but it'll be an honor to go anywhere. Yeah, throughout the training process, uh, I just really been trying to improve on my intellect, uh, understanding of the game, understanding what's going on all over the field, not just my position. Uh, I just think my IQ is getting higher and higher with each interview that I take. How helpful was it playing in the guy that you played this year under Matt House, who obviously had a Yeah, it was definitely very helpful, um, being able to show my versatility, uh, playing with three in a three-point stance, and then transitioning it into a two-point stance, drop in more, and just understanding coverage. So it definitely helps in the meeting, being able to be flexible and uh, fit any really defensive scheme at the next level. Are the NFL guys saying they want you to play in multiple stances, or do they have a certain goal that they see? Yeah, every team uh, is different in their uh, you know philosophy or what they teach. Uh, I think I'm versatile enough to play in both. Um, you know, guys see me as a stand-up edge guy, but I'm, I can also put my hand on the ground and strike blocks and set firm edges. Do you have a preference? I don't really have a preference. Uh, I'm comfortable doing both. Uh, I enjoy standing up just to be able to see the whole field, see all the formations, and be able to diagnose plays more, uh, you know, quickly. Now that today's behind you, what's the process like for you? So the process now is just continue to, you know, improve, heal, of course, and then uh, start to take some visits uh, and get on, get on the the campus of the NFL team to see see where it goes. How did your final year here under Coach Kelly and all of you really happen to the How did that help you here? Yeah, it helped me a lot. Uh, just the process Coach Kelly has in place um, is definitely a process that mimics uh, the next level. Uh, a lot of guys respect Coach Kelly. Uh, they respect his process and they respect the way he handles his organization. Um, so, you know, it was a big part going to the next level, asking the interviews, you know, how how did we adjust to Coach Kelly? And I think we did a great job adjusting, especially the big leap that we took from the second year to my third year. But what's some advice that your brother has given you, knowing that he's been through the same process that you're going through right now? Yeah, just definitely enjoy the moment. Um, you know, be in the moment, take as much knowledge as I can from each interview and from the whole process. Uh, fortunately, he didn't get to go to the combine just due to COVID. Um, so. That's an experience that he didn't get to experience. Uh, but yeah, that's that's basically what he told me going into the rookie minicamp. Just get the speed of the game, adjust, and then from there, it's just like playing football, the game we've been playing our whole life. What did you say about your teammates that didn't get invited to the combine that really showed out and did well today? Oh, uh, yeah, it just shows the resilience that they have, the mental toughness, uh, not being down just because, you know, one event doesn't define you. Uh, I think a lot of guys came out and they made themselves more valuable today. Uh, and I, I just commend them for doing that as well and keeping their head down and keep grinding, keep using that extra time to come out here and perform very, very well. Listening to you talk, you just, you just sound so grateful. Is there anything you maybe said to yourself before coming in here today? 
uh, anything I said to myself. Yeah, like, did you, yeah. Yeah, uh, actually, I had an interview earlier, and I just wanted to thank LSU, thank the people, uh, thank the media, thank the staff, thank the fans, thank all my professors uh, for making me the man I am today and just molding me into the type of football player I am today. Uh, especially being able to build my legacy and wear number 18 and represent the state of Louisiana the way that I did is very, uh, it's a blessing to me and it's going to be something that I hold very close to my heart. Thank you, uh, first of all, teams are going to get two excellent players, uh, players that are able to mesh with the locker room very quickly and buy into the philosophy. Um, they do everything right on a consistent basis. Uh, and like they showed today, they're getting two amazing athletes, uh, two great cover corners um, that's going to do their job and they're going to excel at their job. Um, so just all around two great players that are going to be contributors to the program early, not just on defense, but special teams as well. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of discussions with uh, multiple teams um, at the Combine. I had over 15 formal interviews, informals. Uh, so I've been in contact with, um, you know, majority of the league. Um, so just, you know, managing all the, the meetings, Zoom meetings, and the visits is going to be, uh, you know, something that I continue to do after today. I've been training at Exos um, in Frisco. Yeah, I definitely got bigger. Uh, I weighed in 252 today. Uh, so that's something that I want to prove to the scouts that I can hold on weight and I can play and move and be more explosive even at a higher weight.